Well, first up this morning, the book of Beauty and Substance, a backbone guide for women, was written by a local author who is also a popular national speaker. That's right. Susan Marshall joins us now in the morning blend to help women be taken more seriously. Good to see you again. Good morning. Great to yeah. have you back. Yeah. I was a cheerleader too. Were you? you were? How do we get taken seriously, right? <laughs> right. Well, As I think that's a good question. Like, do you think women need to be taken more seriously or, or, or are we already taken seriously in this day and age? You know, it's a perspective thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of women want to be taken seriously and try too hard. Mm -hmm. So they Sometimes, overcompensate? Well, they overcompensate. You know, and as women, our voices, when we get excited or angry or nervous, our voices tend to rise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we sound shrill. And when you're trying to make a really important point, you, you tend to talk louder mm -hmm. rather than saying, okay, what's the lay of the land here? Sometimes a really well-positioned question makes you sound incredibly smart. Yeah. You don't have to say a lot. Yeah. Right? Or if you're asked a question, you don't know the answer, it's okay to say, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Men me, say it all the time, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, Just own and up. so that's one thing too that I hear from women a lot. You know, yes, but men get away with so much stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not held to the same kind of standard. My reply is always cool, huh? <laughs> they're like, well, no, he steals my idea. Right. So we tend to pick on little things uh -huh. that, in the grand scheme, don't matter. And when you begin to pick, 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 you begin being dismissed. So what's the point of your book? how to grow a backbone of mm -hmm. beauty and substance. The women's book is really about the fact that we tend to spend a lot of time preserving the packaging. And mm -hmm. of course we're helped with that with all the ads and all these kinds of things. And yet the really good stuff is in here and in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's so in our as head, we it's age, in our hearts. Well, and, it's, and when we're taking care of all of the physical stuff, we tend not to be developing what we have. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are awesome. Right, you Thank know that, you. and so not, just you. Because, not just woo, because woo. you have a morning show, yeah, cheerleaders, yeah. <laughs> but because, yeah, there you go. I love that, we just have a career every day, I like that. You're put together in a way that no other person ever was or ever will be again. Mm -hmm. So if you really take that and you start thinking about it, how can you develop this unique, one-of-a-kind person? And forget about the fact that Julie's got better hair and Mary's got better legs. They wouldn't fit with you anyway. And mm -hmm. so the book says, go into you, study you. Three questions that we pose. What gifts have you been given, mm -hmm. right? Because we're born with stuff. Yep. Gifts. Talents. Mm -hmm. How can you develop those gifts? And then the third question, what contribution do you want to make? And that third question is really kind of counterculture. Right? Mm -hmm. Culture says, yes, discover your talents, yes, develop them, and then use them to get all the stuff mm -hmm. you can get. Well, no, let's, w what mark do you want to leave when it's all done mm -hmm. um, that only you can leave? And when women start thinking about that, the energy level tends to rise. And it's sort of paradoxical. Um, some women are, are very outspoken, very ag aggressive, yeah. uh, gregarious, let's say. Um, but some of that is trying to make an impression and trying too hard, as I mentioned earlier. When their confidence develops, they tend to get quieter, mm -hmm. which is really kind of cool. Paradoxically, the other side of that is the little church mice. Mm -hmm. As they develop confidence, tend to speak more. And so it's really fun to watch women develop, to, to settle down, to settle in, and to begin really thinking about what do I want to develop and what, what do I want to do with what I have? I, I think so much of, of what you're saying is very true and it's really helpful to women, but I think so many women are afraid to kind of become that person because the moment you start speaking out, being more aggressive, becoming more who you are or say what you want to say or stand up for yourself, you get labeled a bee. You get labeled, and so all of a sudden you're aggressive, you're uh, difficult to work with, or something like right. that. So, you know, I don't think that that's the truth for a lot of women, um, but I think so many people are afraid of that. So, what would you say to somebody who says, "I want to have a backbone, but I don't want to be viewed negatively with coworkers or friends"? Who or, cares? So, don't worry about it. Truly, if you are developing yourself and you're getting good, three elements of backbone: competence, confidence, and risk taking. As you're developing your competence, elevating your confidence to go take risk, who cares mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. somebody says about you? Because I Tell remember me what when you want. I know that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when my, when my daughter was very young. Um, a teacher said she's very bossy, <laughs> and I thought she is bossy. <laughs> just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm bossy. <laughs> um, what's interesting? I'm not going there. But it's good. <laughs> they never would have said that about my son. 
exactly. a teacher would never have said your son is bossy. Right, even if he was. Even if he was. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, and oh, he's assertive, he's a leader. Mm -hmm. And so that's our reality, right? And you can either accept that and say, okay, given this reality, what do I want to do about it? Or you can sit and pout. You can wallow, as I mentioned in the book, beware the wallow. Reality is what it is, and mm -hmm. we have a choice to either deal with it that way and find our way, or sit, as many women do, and say, ah, there's nothing I can do about this. You say there's some mannerisms that women have that, that cause others to dismiss us. Are there some specific mannerisms? There's a really broad spectrum from playing with clothing to, you know, not making eye to, uh, to looking at the ground to, mm -hmm. you know, kind of scratching your head. There's a, a variety. Um, what, what is missing oftentimes when those mannerisms kick in is a real engagement with what's going on. Mannerisms tend to say, I'm really worried about me. Do mm, I yeah. look right? Do I sound right? Am I doing this correctly? And there are versus, cues that you're feeling insecure. That's exactly correct. Mm -hmm. And that is when you see it mm -hmm. and, you, and you're kind of tuned into that, you're going, oh dear, how do we <laughs> help this? And really the best, fastest way is to really engage in the conversation. What's going on? Be present. What are people talking about? What do I know about this? What do I want to learn about this? Really is the antidote to, I don't know much, and so I'm going to look silly. No, learn. Mm -hmm. well, and, don't, I, and I think so much of that too is listening. It's not like when you're in those kinds of situations, being present, not thinking about what you want to say next, but truly just <laughs> listening because then all of a sudden you're engaged as you mentioned. I right. want to make sure people know how to get your book. Here's yes. the information for it. The website mm -hmm. it's backboneinstitute.com. You can learn more about Susan there and grab a copy of her book. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Great to see, you. Good to see you. Good to see you both. Mm -hmm.